Morningstar's investment conference for EU 2022 is off to a flying start with a keynote address from our CEO, Kunal Kapoor. He joins me now. Um, Kunal, I just wanted to reflect specifically on something that you said. Um, you said the world is always going through a period of change, but I think we can all agree the amount of change we're going through at the moment is phenomenal. So against that backdrop and specifically in terms of what you said about trade-offs, um, as a company and in the markets more broadly, are there any easy wins left? Well, there's always easy wins for investors. And, it, you know, not to beat a dead horse, but the best thing an investor can often do in these times is not spend too much time obsessing yeah. uh, over their portfolio. Sometimes taking the long view, especially in times like this, is the easiest win that you can bag. So they don't need to sit down at a formal table and, and, and chat for too long? Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Less stuffy. Um, you showed us a graph of significant undervaluation in European markets. Yeah. I mean, as value investors, do you feel in any way vindicated this year by you know, Morningstar's approach, given what's happened at the start with you know, growth sales? Well, I would separate out our current view and what it means for value investing. The reality is, when the markets have had as much turbulence as, as they've had recently, it's inevitable that if you're a long-term investor, some things are going to shake out that are going to be interesting. I think what's different is the significance of the level of undervaluation that our analysts are seeing is very broad. But 23% when you look at our entire EU coverage, and it's similar when you look at uh, you know, coverage that we have in the US and in Asia. Um, so I, I think if, if you're an equity investor, it's a hard thing to look at your portfolio day to day. But the right thing to do is make sure you're rebalancing into equities and um, you know, not losing an opportunity for future value creation based on how you're feeling um, you know, based on the past few months. I will say just in terms of value investing as a separate topic, obviously value investing has had a bit of a rebound, but you know, value investing means many things to many people. Mm. Um, I think if you look at sort of the classical definition of value investing, which had a lot to do with buying beaten up uh, you know, stocks of companies that maybe didn't have the greatest businesses, I, I don't know that that at least is coming back into vogue anytime soon. But if you think about value investing in the way we think about it, which is paying a fair price for um, a good business and applying that lens, there's plenty, plenty of growth, growth companies that, from a valuation perspective, really look good to our analysts today. Sure. And just coming on to the US a second, I mean, you alluded briefly to the political backlash against ESG, and much of that has taken place in the US. How does that make you feel, being you know, the CEO of a US headquartered company? Well, I, th I, th I think obviously there's different ways one can approach it. Uh, for me, our mission is about empowering investor success. And what I love about ESG is that it's all about providing investors choice. Mm -hmm. It's not about saying you have to do one thing one way or the other. ESG data can be used for people to take the opposite sides of the same um, you know, set of data. And that's OK. That's what investing is about, what makes a market is differing views. And I don't think ESG is any different, other than the fact that probably ESG allows um, for an ever more expanding set of preferences that people can use to build a portfolio. And I think it's a good thing, because so many investors don't feel a connection to their money. And I think if you are suddenly in a place where you can express your preferences, your engagement with your money is probably going to be higher than ever, which I think is a good thing. Canal, thank you very much. For more on Morningstar Investment Conference EU 2022, check out any of our international editorial sites. Until next time, my thanks to Canal. I've been Ollie Smith for Morningstar.